a national team. Many of the drivers are former motocross racers. They range... <laughs> Today, we're going to see the closest cousins to those original buggies battle it out for a shot at the Little Feature Championship. Get ready for the wildest, wackiest, wettest event in motorsports as we bring you the running of the Swamp Buggies. Naples, Florida is the home of the Florida Sports Park, the world's most unusual racetrack. The course is totally submerged under two to six feet of water, and twice a year, it's the scene of the world's wettest racing event, the Swamp Buggy Races. Off the starting line, the buggies plunge straight into the sippy hole, up to six feet deep in prime swamp brine. Then it's across the center of the course and through another shorter deep water drenching. After rounding the back curve, it's down the front straightaway and through the sippy hole again. The back straightaway has yet another short stretch of deep water to cross before heading around the back curve, down the front straightaway, and through the sippy hole for a third time before crossing the finish line. And if you think the track is crazy, just take a look at the amphibious creatures that run on it. Four classes of buggies will compete today for a place in the little feature. Douglas MacArthur said, I shall return. Stay tuned. This is the first heat of the four-cylinder, four-wheel drive division. And you can see the wild variety of buggy designs that can be found within the same class. On the outside, it's Tom Vicker and VIX 44. In the middle, Rocky Upton and Booger Bear. And on the inside, Swamp Buggy veteran Jay Rowe and Scrappy. Jay's been running the same buggy for close to 25 years, and it's still in one piece. Of course, he's gone through a lot of engines in that time, and every other year, he even changes the oil. Vix 44, he's gonna make a race out of this thing now. Zero out of the city hall first, and Scrappy, Tom Vickers behind him, and then Rocky up to a little bit of a slow start, but this one's not over. Zero going real wide back here for Scrappy. He must know something about, about that second hole there. Vix 44, Tom Vickers went way inside. Now Jay coming across a little bit, but Tom Vickers will get him to run as they head around the top side of the out on the first time. J. Rowe, Scrappy, 51, leading it. And around the island the first time, J. Rowe hanging on to that lead, the number 51, Scrappy. A little four-banger just singing out there, but Tom Victor's really making a chase out of it now in that big 44. Scrappy's in the lead as they hit the sippy hole for the second time. Vix 44 and Booger Bear are close behind, and it's still anybody's race. Rocky Upton, Rocky Upton seems to be picking up a little bit. He's running better than he was. He may make a chase out of it here for second place. Jay Rowe, of course, got to get all the way around and get back to win, but he seems to be opening his lead on Tom Vicker now. Out of the uh, hole back there on the back stretch. Tom Vicker into the hole and very slow coming out. Look at here, here comes Rocky Upton trying to catch him. Rocky Upton into the hole behind him. Vickers out of the hole. Upton closed it up a lot there. Jay Rowe with a much wider margin as he comes around. But second place could still be a race. Upton is closing the gap ever so slowly. I don't think he's gonna have enough room to make it. It looks like Scrappy's got in the bag as Vix 44 and Booger Bear fight it out for second place. J. Rowe and Scrappy take the win and advance to the finals of the four-cylinder four-wheel 
drive class. Rick's 44 takes second, followed closely by Booger Bear. By the way, the idea is to come in first, not ground your opponent. So, here we went with that one. We will be ready to go with another race here, just a matter of moments. Got them all around that time, makes it easier. With 23 entries participating today, the Jeeps have to run five at a time. It gets pretty crowded out there, and when push comes to shove, they can put on some of the hottest races of the day. Here come the Jeeps. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five of them out here. From left to right, it's Steve Armstrong and Evil and Wicked, Dan Turpin and Outhouse Mouse, Bob Worthington and Little Toot Toot, Jeff Boswell and Flirting with Disaster, and Bill Fayette in Long Shot. Worthington out of the hole first with a slight lead. Not a lot, but a little bit. Outhouse Mouse stalls in the deep water. And as they round the curve onto the front straightaway, Bob Worthington and Little Tutu are leading the pack in a tight race. Long shot, Evil and Wicked are flirting with disaster and giving him a good run for his money. Flight number 30, Bob Worthington in the lead. But he's just about to get a challenge coming into the hole here. 33, long shot. Trying him on the outside now. Also, uh, evil and wicked, Steve Armstrong comes for it. Armstrong may take the lead coming out of the hole. Well, oh, long shot's got it. Long shot, Phil Fayett out of uh, Sarasota. Grabs the lead coming out of there. He's fallen out of there by the number 15, evil and wicked. There's enough mud and water flying around back there. It's really difficult to decide who's going to be the victor back there, but Phil Fay is still doing real good. Long shot hits the hole on the backstretch with Evil and Wicked right on his tail. It looks like it's going to be a two-jeep race right down to the finish line. Figure out who the winner is as they come out on the line. And right now, it's number 33, Phil Fayette out of Sarasota in the long shot. But he's no longer a long shot. He's looking very good. All he's got to do is get through that zippy hole one more time. Even a wicket going to be second. Phil Fayette takes the win in long shot. We'll see them again in the Jeep Finals. Up next, the wildest water bugs on the swamp. The one and two-cylinder air-cooled class. Stay tuned. Next to him in the middle is Phil Macius and just a little mojo. And on the inside, Keith Kyler and Bushwhacker. All right, there you go. Oh, good start for uh, Bushwhacker. Wow, they close it right up there, though. This is anybody's race right now. The number five. Wow, look at that. Oh, son of a gun. Bushwhacker takes the lead as cause for divorce and little mojo come out of the hole neck and neck. The mile of mud is a torture track, unequal by any other, but to these drivers, that's just part of the game. We talked to Doug McCorvey and Keith Kyler just before the start of the heat to get their impressions of the track. That's a little bumpy today, especially around that back stretch back there. It's real bumpy, and it's real muddy, too. Usually it's a lot, lot more sand on the bottom. So it's kind of rough today, especially for two cylinders. It's kind of rough. <laughs> it's 
it's pretty rocky out there, but uh, I think I know where to ride from where I went around yesterday. I think I'll do okay. Keith Kyler is doing more than okay as he continues to outdistance cause for divorce and little mojo. We've got a neat race going on the top side of the island up there. Just a little mojo and uh, cause for divorce duking it out. Looks like Bushwhacker. Very strong coming around the island last time there. The guy that designed that motorcycle engine never thought it would be out here. Keith has won this class many times. He'll make it to the finals again this time. He crosses the sippy hole to take the heat. Keith Kyler and Bushwhacker bringing home the gold and showing us just how fast two cylinders can be. Got another two. The next heat race will feature the four-cylinder two-wheel drives. Rick Caperton's turkey buzzard has been a big winner in his class. And before the heat, he was hopeful of taking home another trophy. This has uh, been a class winner seven years in a row now. If I win, if I win my class today, it'll be the 8th October, so I'm sure hoping for it. We'll see. Turkey buzzard has turned into a Grand Prix machine. It didn't used to look that good. I have a feeling there's some modifications aboard this time. Rick, uh, Rick Caperton. They're lined up ready to go. From left to right, it's Rick Caperton and Turkey Buzzer. Ron Newsom in four is enough, and Keith Montgomery in no respect. Okay, they say all say they're ready to go. Green flag, green light. Whoa! Look at there. Interestingly enough, no respect. We'll get some respect here. He's first out of there. Really charging. Then comes number 19, Ron Newsom in four is enough. And the all-new Turkey Buzzer in third. Wow! One, two, three. No respect. Four is enough. The turkey buzzard. Caberton going in there very, very, very close to the island, trying to make a little ground. He's got some rough racing to do if he's going to be in this one. Keith Montgomery with no respect opened up a pretty good lead. Now, Caberton closes it up a bit on, uh, on Ron Newsom. He's got some wild driving to do if he's going to be in this. He's usually a very, very strong competitor, usually a winner. Keith Montgomery out there in the lead. Then comes fours and up. Here comes Caberton. In the turkey buzzer, staying on the inside of this, trying to save some time. He's closing up quite a bit. He gets kind of shut down there. The race is still anybody's race. Keith Montgomery, 76 in the lead. Then 19, Ron Newsom. Then 60, Rick Caberton as they go down a backstretch. Caberton really flying back there, but we've got, uh, looks like we're going to have us a new winner here. Looks like no respect with Keith Montgomery going to take this one. Newsom's on the inside, though. Here we go. Charge for the finish. Looks like he was, oh, everybody's going wide. Here we go. Caberton going over toward the wall. He'll take a shot at it. Ron Newsom's got it. Ron Newsom and fours and up takes the heat in a big upset over Rick Caperton and Turkey Buzz. This win will put him in the finals with a chance to make it to the little feature. Ron still has some tough competition to overcome in this class. He knows it. One. <laughs> Just one. Okay. Still got another to go. All right. Good I'm luck. You that over. I sure hope so. You have Maybe they'll break. I'll tell you. I was picking up a little water. I got to go find out where I get water in my carburetor. All right. Check it out. Get it ready. Next heat will be the first class runoff to determine the winner of the four-cylinder, four-wheel drives. The two drivers on the line have been here many times before. On the right, it's 25-year veteran Jay Rowe and Scrappy, facing off against Ray Thornton and Cole Duck, bending class.